how the gut got its spots. Tyler. Your intestine is filled with fingers. Now, that might not be what you wanted to hear right now at the beginning of the slam, but your intestine is filled with millions of microscopic finger-like structures called villi. These are essential for nutrient absorption, but they can become damaged and fall apart, sometimes even leading to lifelong digestive complications. One way to treat this would be to grow intestinal tissues in the lab to transplant into patients. But in order to do this, we first need their blueprints. These blueprints are in the embryo where these structures are first built. And a major focus of my research is to understand how the embryo builds tissue structure like villi so that we can build it ourselves. Now, to begin unlocking these secrets, I've developed ways to grow the intestines outside of the embryo and in a dish where we can use high-powered microscope to watch as they develop and change shape over long periods of time. Now, if you were an engineer tasked with building structures like these villi, you might start by making a scaffold that looks like fingers and then dumping some cells on top. In the embryo, however, the cells are the engineers, and they've decided on quite a different way of doing things. And it begins with a series of microscopic spots that appears along the whole length of the intestine. So how did the gut get these spots, and what did they do? Well, one way to learn how things work is to take them apart. So I broke down the intestine into its individual component parts, the individual cells, and watched as these cells rebuilt these structures. So they reorganized back to form these aggregates that are highly cohesive and have a high surface tension. Now, you might be familiar with something else with these same physical properties, water. And because of these properties, water will also reorganize to form droplets, just like on the windshield of your car. So maybe these cells were behaving like water somehow. And then I had a penicillin moment. I had left some of these intestines growing in the lab over a long holiday weekend. And when I came back, I found that not only had these spots formed, but they had fused together, just like two droplets of water would if they came into contact with each other. So I've unlocked the first steps through which the embryo builds these intestinal villi. And it does so in the same way that water makes droplets. These cells minimize their energy to generate these droplet-like aggregates. And in doing so, they generate a surface tension that folds the inner lining of the intestine to initiate where these finger-like protrusions, these villi, will grow from. So we can now use this knowledge to begin engineering these structures ourselves in the lab. But beyond this, we can now apply this kind of framework to better understand these complex living systems like our tissues by comparing them to the better understood physics of the non-living world, things that we encounter every day like water. And in doing so, we can learn how tissues are built so we can now build them ourselves. Thank you.